Are you a beginner or you need some effects that helps you a lot to improve your video editing skills? So yeah, you are in the right place. In this video, I am gonna give you a top 5 effects that helps you a lot to improve your video editing skills and obviously speed up your work. It's my top 5 effects so it's probably not yours but don't worry if you are a beginner then obviously this effects helps you a lot to speed up your work and improve your video editing skills. So without further any ado, let's jump into the video and let's see the effects one by one that I talked about. Let's see. What is up you guys Equip here thank you so much for watching this video I hope you all doing well and keep safe. As I mentioned already today we talk about the top 5 effect. So the first effect is crop. Everybody who watching this video are now about crop effect because crop effect is mostly used in photo and video editing softwares as well. So crop effect mostly used in a Premiere Pro to making a split screen and also to add a black bars in the video. First of all, we adding a black bar using a crop effects. For that, I'm just go to effects search crop and we got a crop effects under the transform. I'm just drop this on my footage and as you can see there is nothing happened. Just go to controls and now here you got a top left right bottom I'm just value top to 12 and bottom to 12 as well and as you can be see a beautiful uh, black balls added in our footage and there is an easiest way to adding a uh, black balls in the footage you can also do that with a different way but there is a lengthy ways to do that and it's probably a time taking process you can be do that in the middle of the video if you want a black balls in your footage you can also make a split screen so here you can see I have have two different footage so I'm just drop the crop effect on the both of the footage to make it a split screen so I make this person aside like that and as you can see the second person is here so I want to be remove his hand just his face I need so for that I'm just uh, go to select this footage and make it remove as you can see I'm remove this person right that and as you can see here is the split screen with the easiest way using a crop effect. So the second mostly used effects in Premiere Pro is Ultra Key. Ultra Key is mostly used to making a transitions as well and also for a green screen. Everybody know about green screen is mostly used process in video editing. So obviously you have to be learned about green screen. So here is the green screen. I'm just download this footage from Mixkit. You can also get the link in the description below. So I want to remove his background. So how we can do that? I'm just go to effects search ultra key to remove the background you can also change the background if this background are green red blue whatever you can remove it easily i'm just apply this ultra key on my main footage and as you can see in uh, effects control i just go the key color and just select this brush to take the green color or background color whatever you say i'm just select the background color and as you can see our subject is distracted from the background you can be changed the match composition everything whatever you want is easiest way to remove the background if they are green so I'm just drop this as a background so as you can see here is my background here is my subject you can be changed the settings of your green screens right there color corrections whatever you want so there it be more realistic way to adding the green screen removing the backgrounds and adding some realistic way so as you can see is just a proper way to removing the green screen in background and putting your footage at every background is really easy to using a ultra key effects ultra key effect is also used in a transitions there are some transitions that have a colors transitions so if you want to be adding the ultra key you can be make your own transitions with ultra key is most probably used in premiere pro So the next most useful effect in Premiere Pro is camera blur. As you can see all the footage is, isn't blurred. There is no part in the footage that are blurred. So if you want to blur this all the person except this one. So how we can do that if you apply just Gaussian blur is just blur your all the persons like that. I'm just apply the Gaussian blur 
and now I'm just go to effects control as I apply the blurness like Gaussian blur is blurry all the persons it's not a good for that I'm just go to effects search camera blur and as you can see under the blow sharpness I got a camera blur just apply this on your footage and as you can see our all the footage are blurred don't worry we make it change right there so I'm just uncheck this FX like that so I'm just select our object whatever I don't want to be blow so I don't want to blow this person I'm just select this with this laptop because it's included okay I'm just like this and now as you can see our just object is blur and other things are not blur so for that I'm just check this inverted and as you can see our object is clear and the other objects are blur I'm just change it to 5 to make it more realistic as you can see our object is just a clear and other objects are blur I'm just taking this video as an example if you put other videos it make it more good results right So if we talk about a Premiere Pro most using effects, so how we can forget about stabilizer. Stabilizer is mostly used in a footage that are really shaky and we want to be remove the shakiness from the footage and make it like in rest. Like if you watch this video, it's just shoot it from a mobile without any tripod. I just hold it his mobile with his hand. That's why it's just a, like a shaky footage. So I want to remove the shakiness. How we can do that? We can be do that by applying the stabilizer effect for that I'm just go to effects search stabilizer and I got a warp stabilizer so it helps you a lot to remove the shakiness from the footage and make it in a realistic way so I'm just apply this warp stabilizer and it take uh, some time So the last effect that are mostly used in a Premiere Pro, that's not effect, that's a trick to make your footage more realistic. So here is the drawn footage. I am downloaded this footage from Mixkit. You can also get this link in the description below. It's not a effects, it's a trick to make your drawn footage more realistic. As you can see, this drawn shot is just a simple drawn shot. There is nothing happen with that. So we can making us some changes to make it more realistic. I'm first of all, I'm just change it to 125. It's just zoom in okay you can be change the value to 120 even whatever you want so i want to be make it some rotateness in my footage for that i'm just putting the keyframes right there just change our screen values and now move it to like that as you can see so i'm just make it to align what i want actually so now at the very mid so i'm just make the another keyframes and now move it in opposite directions and make it align as well and as you can see i'm just align this all the keyframes it's just make a dramatic your footage and make us some changings by applying some rotatedness position scaling it's just applying on your footage and it make your drawn shows more realistic To make your drawing shots is more realistic just adding the adjustment layer go to effects search crop at the crops of your adjustment layer and putting the values 12 and now let's take a look it just look like more dramatic before the footage is just simple it's not a moving it's just a simple straightforward drawn shots but now it's just moving like it's giving you a dramatic look so it's helped you a lot to making your footage more realistic so yeah, here is the video of today. I hope you get something helpful from this video. If you get, hit the like button, drop your comment under this video. And if you have any question, let me know in the comment section. Everything will be appreciated. Thank you so much for watching this video. I will see you in the next one.